is Binya Norris and I am owner and creator at Adin Bina Designs. I create clothing for women ages 35 and over. And I've been in business for about three years now. I'm based in Atlanta, Georgia, and this is where I run my business. And hopefully in the future, I'll be able to uh, run business uh, between here and Kenya. That is my desire. In 2016, I had began thinking about running a business and I happened to come upon a YouTube done by Waidaka about Centonomy and he was talking about businesses and I became very interested in Centonomy. So when I did have the class, I always had Centonomy in mind. In fact, I had subscribed to a YouTube channel. So I was getting uh, a lot of YouTubes on uh, Centonomy classes and also seeing testimonials by other business people. So by the time uh, Centonomy started online, I was, I was ready to go. But what had happened in, um, right before, uh, right after COVID started, before the Centonomy class, I took another class offered by Parklands Baptist. It was called Sell Your Business Through the Storm. And during that class, I realized I, I needed a lot of business education. My business was struggling then. Uh, I was not meeting customer requests on time because I was the only one sewing as well as running my own household here. So I came to realize the business was running more like a hobby than a business. And so when I finished that class, right when I, the, we ended that class, end of uh, April, beginning of May, I got an email uh, saying that I had a comment reply on YouTube and it was Centonomy saying we are now online. So I quickly jumped on it. I figured it out with my sister how we were going to pay for the tuition and I didn't even think twice when Centonomy started. I was there. I was ready. There were so many aha moments, you know, like I say, I didn't have much business education, even though I had read books, but I found that the information I was getting was on very specific things. And so when I started Centonomy class, I think the biggest aha moment was also changing my mindset. Washeke had done a class on the entrepreneur vehicle and that got me thinking about how the business should look like. The next aha moment, I had three aha moments. The second one was um, the one done by uh, Ruby, uh, not Ruby, uh, Sheba. Sheba. Uh, Sheba did one on uh, design thinking. And design thinking taught me that when I design, I'm not designing for me. I'm not designing what I think the customers want, but rather I should be finding out what the customers need. And we went through this class to learn how to find out what the customers need as well as to identify the big opportunities. And the other big one, the big aha moment was the structures and strategies, which is what my business did not have. And so going through that class helped me understand what drives my business to be like and even till today, I'm still working on systems and uh, strategies, but that is what, that is the engine of the business. And I really appreciated that class. And that I would say was actually the biggest aha point for me. The online class was very organized. I, I was really impressed. And uh, I had taken another Zoom class before something. I liked to see the moderator helping the facilitator and usually we had very enthusiastic uh, moderators and the facilitators were very experienced, experts in their field. And even though I'm here in Atlanta, Georgia, I was able to follow along and find the equivalent of what we were learning here so that by the time the class ended, I was able to have started my business legally, to have opened uh, my business account here, to um, 
to have all my, 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 you know, to have my business set up legally in the U.S. The online class was also very um, timely. We started on time. I really appreciate Genevieve for sending us those emails before class, giving us time to print our materials and go through them. And then after the online class, we also got our assignments, which I really enjoyed. And I think uh, the class is really set up very well. I was able to immediately uh, start working on the, uh, the marketing and the, the social media marketing. And I was able to do this uh, on a friend's business. She also is in fashion design. And so the opportunity came up for me to work on her social media. And that's where I was also getting practice from. Uh, so I was able to and get her numbers up, to get more clients. And that has been uh, an experience in itself because I was able to see how to work on mine without the pressure of working on mine. So that uh, when I get ready to do mine, uh, I already have the knowledge and experience. Then the other thing that I'm working on is uh, my structures and strategies. Uh, finding tailors to help me sew. I've already started working on that. I've been in contact with a tailor, two tailors there in Kenya. And uh, uh, I've contacted the UPS to figure out uh, shipping and handling. And uh, so those are some of the things I've started working on. would highly recommend Centonomy. Uh, Centonomy Entrepreneur, and actually if you can check out the other classes too. I was able to do the Centonomy 101 after I finished Entrepreneur. And I would say my knowledge on finance has really increased, just personal finance and business finance. Those two go hand in hand, I, I believe. And I recommend Centonomy because Centonomy is is, uh, is the global, the education we get is global. You can apply it to, from wherever in the world you are. You just need to match up the terminologies or the, the legalities with your, wherever you are, your city or state or country. So I would highly recommend it because um, we don't get education so comprehensive in one program like we do in Centonomy. I mean, I would say I've read books on business, but I haven't read one so comprehensive as what Centonomy offered us. And so if your business is struggling, if you're looking to grow your business, uh, Centonomy is, is definitely a class you would want to consider. You know, when you're starting the business, you want to first of all develop the mindset of an entrepreneur. I've come to realize it's a very different mindset than uh, when you're working for somebody else. The responsibilities you're going to have, the people you're going to be responsible for, you're going to be in charge of ensuring that the mission and the vision of the company goes forward. And so I would definitely say that if you want to be successful in business, um, that you consider investing in, in an education in entrepreneurship.